I'm Dr. Mark Swanson. I'm a uh, associate professor at the University of Alabama at Birmingham School of Optometry in uh, the United States. Along with Dr. Lei Lu, uh, we wrote a paper on the role of the primary care optometrist in diagnosis and management of macular degeneration. Um, optometrists are a primary entry point into the healthcare and eye care system uh, in the vast majority of the countries uh, where optometry is legal. And it's very important with the changing demographics of most Western societies uh, that uh, macular degeneration be detected early and in a timely manner so that appropriate treatment can take place. In the paper, we discussed the modifiable and non-modifiable risk factors for macular degeneration. These are important for every optometrist to know, particularly those risk factors that are modifiable, such as smoking and uh, diet, and also those that can be changed along with dietary supplementation. Where we are at currently with macular degeneration, the diagnosis is primarily a clinical one. At this time, we just don't have uh, specific psychophysical tests or tools that will allow us to separate out macular degeneration from age-related changes and wet macular degeneration from dry macular degeneration. Because of that, it's very important that optometrists dilate routinely and be familiar with the techniques that are available for clinical diagnosis of macular degeneration. These are the things that are going to be very important for us in the future and in going forward.